Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Hit the Silk. It plays three to six players, ages eight and up, and it takes 30 to 45 minutes to play. And in the game, you are playing as robbers who have gathered enough money to then pay back a greedy casino owner. You've gotten into a plane and you're now traveling to that location, but unfortunately the plane has undergone some engine difficulties and is now crashing toward the earth. Unfortunately for you guys, there is not enough parachutes to get off the plane for at least one of you and they will have to be remaining to stay and try and land the plane without uh, potentially crashing. Now you're going to need to gather enough money to pay back the debt you owe to the casino owner and you're going to also have to have a parachute when you're jumping off. A certain number of you will have those parachutes and you'll also need to have that money and if you don't you're going to be in trouble and everyone can simply not win. Uh, there's other ways to win the game of course. If you're the last person left on the ship and you manage to land it and you can be successful as well. But for the most part, the idea is to double cross your opponents, gather the needed items as well as the money to get, to get the parachute that you need to hit the silk all at once with the players who, that collectively have enough money and then successfully give it to the person you owe money to without having to deal with a... Uh, a concrete bath, so to speak. Let's take a look at the game. Uh, hit the silk down below. I'll show you how it plays, what it looks like, what it comes with. Uh, this is a prototype version, which will be a game on Kickstarter, which you can take a look at down below. Link in the description. Let me show you the game. Welcome to the game Hit the Silk, which is currently set up for five players. In the game, you're going to get an altimeter board, an airplane board, cards, dice, some tokens, and of course, a little airplane and current player marker. To begin the game, choose the number of players. Set the altimeter based on that number of players from three to six. Because we're playing five players, you're also going to be not only placing this little tracker here to five, but you'll take out all the numbered cards in the top left-hand side higher than the number of players you're playing with. So in this case, I'm taking out all of the sixes from the deck and setting them outside of the game. You're also going to go ahead and take all the flannel cards from the deck and place them on the laundry area here. And any of the cards they ask you to in the rules, such as stealing and kung fu, out of the deck, shuffle it, then place out seven cards in the lockbox here, and then return all of the cards they told you to take out, like the steel and the kung fu, place them back into the deck, and then shuffle them up, placing it onto the draw pile of the game. Choose a current player, give them the current player marker, and then deal out six cards to each player. Once each player has six cards, then they'll choose to discard two cards they don't want from their hand and place them in the discard pile on the airplane board, leaving every single player with a total hand of four cards. Afterwards, you're going to have that current player start the game. But the first thing to note is, depending on the number of players, it will determine not only your altitude, but how much money you need to have cooperatively amongst players that have parachutes in order to pay off the casino owner. In a five-player game, you're going to have a total available amount of currency of 20, 220,000, but you're going to need 130 within the people that have parachutes when exiting the plane when you choose to hit the silk. So keep in mind that not only do you want parachutes, in this game, but you also want to have enough money and your cooperative partners to have enough money to be worth taking them out of the airplane with you to successfully accomplish your mission, which means that in general, one person or more may be left out or handcuffed onto the plane and thusly might not survive. On a player's turn, you may do all of the following. You can change a card once. You may take as many actions on the cards that you have in your hand as they are available. And you may also trade with another player, but only once for the same value. Whenever you want, if you would like to, to change a card on your turn, you would simply go ahead and look, choose a card from your hand, get rid of that card if you do not want it, and then based on the number over here in the value, based on this little ultimator here, one, two, three, and four, based on how many feet are left, will be how many cards you draw from the pile here. If you draw more than your hand limit, you'll have to go ahead and discard down, but that's one thing you can do. But it'll always cost you 500 every time you do this. So you'll actually move the marker down by 500 whenever you choose to go ahead and do that. Of course, certain cards in your hand, if you choose to play them, like the spy card or the key card, will also have an indicator of how much feet you'll have to pay, meaning how far the plane will go down, when you utilize these cards. Because your objective is not only to gather money, but also you need to find a parachute. Because without a parachute, when you choose to hit the silk, you might be forced off of the plane and be left with nothing. 
If you choose to not play any cards or not trade, then you'll pass the turn and the next player will get to go. If you don't do anything on your turn, you'll simply have to move this marker down 500 and the next player will get a chance to trade cards, to change cards, and to of course take actions from his or her hand, utilizing special things like the revolver and the steel and the key. And that's going to happen up until the point where this altimeter hits the first hit the silk area. Now there are four of them throughout the game and these will all have certain unique things that are gonna happen. But basically what happens is kind of a vote. Players are gonna determine if they would like to hit the silk. If they choose not to hit the silk, you'll have to roll this die here and you'll go down a certain number of altitude based on that die roll. And if you choose to hit the silk as a majority, everybody's gonna flip over their cards, determine how much money they have, how many parachutes they have, and if they actually can survive. Parachutes without a, uh, par players without a parachute are simply going to be stuck on the plane and those with them will cooperatively group up along with their money and hopefully they'll have enough money to meet the goals required and if they do they can win the game. However, there's a unique little thing that will happen when players hit the silk and leave other players behind. That player is going to get an opportunity to attempt to land the plane. And they will be utilizing these die. They'll be rolling these die here and they'll have to choose one die for going across and one die for going down. So in this case, I'd go one, two, three, four and down one. And then they, of course you would roll again. Some of these numbers are gonna have crosses and some of them are gonna have downs. And if you're forced uh, to utilize these, you'll have to. So if it was a down and a cross, you'd have to do it that way. If it was two downs, you have to do it that way. But otherwise you'll have to do one of each and a cross and a down and your objective is to land safely on the landing and then you'll have to roll the die one more time not get it down because if you get that you'll crash but simply get a number that will let you uh, safely make it across and land perfectly still on the landing pad otherwise that player is out however if they do land they'll successfully beat the game uh, and compared to everybody else who maybe survived on the parachutes and that's basically the idea of the game. Players are going to continuously be utilizing their actions, moving this meter down, checking to see if they have to try and hit the silk or not, and avoid getting to that very bad area over here because when that happens, the plane will crash and you'll lose. Whenever a discard pile is filled up and there's no draw pile left, you'll simply take those cards and you'll shuffle them and you'll form a new draw pile. Some things like these handcuffs will make you a handcuff for certain people together. And then there's of course poison as well, but that's the basic Basic idea of the game. So let's discuss the game Hit the Silk. Uh, this game is a semi-cooperative game in which players are going to work together as much as possible so that the people they need to get parachutes will. Now of course one person will be left in the dust quite literally and be forced to try and land the plane themselves and they'll need to gather that pilot license if they can't find the parachute. Players will work together to gather the money they need in order to not end up at the bottom of a river because a greedy casino owner might do so if they cannot gather what they need including of course the parachute because with a bunch of money in your bag and no parachute that will not help you save the day and can in fact harm you so you're going to need to work together as much as you can but if you don't have that parachute then you're going to have to not work together until you gather it players will then determine who has what and when and determine how and how, how and when also to hit the silk because you can choose at any point throughout the game uh, between certain areas in which you can choose to kind of fly off the handle and jump out of the plane or or not and that would cause the plane to go faster. There's a timer involved in the game, which is the speedometer and, or the altimeter, which kind of determines how high you are in the sky. And that's also based on the number of players too. With less players means the game's going to be a little quicker. It's a little bit less high off of the ground. And with more players comes a little bit more shenanigans, a little bit more craziness, and of course more cards that will be in play. Being able to utilize all the different actions such as trading cards out of your hand to find new ones, utilizing actions in your hand to steal cards from other players, and of course be nice work together and trade with other players is very, very useful. You can go ahead and attempt to poison somebody, shoot somebody, or even just handcuff somebody to somebody else, making sure they both need parachutes. Or you can work in tandem together where you're allowing each player to gather what they need because you have what you need in order to secure your safety when jumping off of the plane, along with the money that is needed in order to win the game. There's a lot of 
tricky tactics in the game because you're not necessarily always wanting to work together, but you kind of have to at the same time. So it has that interesting twist to it. And of course, the player at the very end also, while being left high and dry does generally suck, you have that opportunity to succeed. And of course, gathering that pilot's license can uh, have you win the game, even when you think all is lost. So there's always a way you can come back in this game. Games are rather quick and fairly simple and easy to understand. You know what the cards in your hand do and how to utilize them. It's all a matter of how you play the cards and when you choose to play them. But don't wait too long and don't forget to jump off and hit the silk because your plane will crash and you will all fail to succeed in being able to pay off a greedy casino owner. If you're interested in taking a look at the game, you can go ahead and check the link down below in the description. It's currently on Kickstarter. It has some great artwork. There's a lot of twists and turns in the game. And if you don't mind a little bit of an aggressive style of play, you're going to enjoy the game. Hit the silk on Kickstarter. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Hit the Silk. You can go ahead and check out that Kickstarter down below, link in the description. You can also go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well. It greatly helps us out here and you can see more notifications of other reviews that we're going to be doing that are mainly on Kickstarter. You can also go ahead and check out our website unfilteredgamer.com. We've got tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more on there. Don't forget to also go ahead and check out my wife's game Moonshell, a mermaid game, a competitive game in which you're trying to solve puzzly little objectives that are both hidden and open, utilizing mermeeples and mermaids with unique and special abilities that work together as you attempt to gather seashells into your treasure chest to make certain patterns. You can also go ahead and check out our Discord, check out our live streams, and participate in our Patreon if you would like. Thank you so much Patreon members for supporting us. Every Wednesday, 6.30pm PST on Facebook. Alright guys, that's all I got for you this time, and as always, I look forward to hitting the silk with you next time. Because I definitely don't want to be that guy who doesn't have the parachute at the end. That's, that's difficult to deal with.